In this video, we will take a close look at the pool macro and proto details. Click the pool macro in the design library drop down menu. A dialog window is launched where we will model and design pools. You can quickly select different pool geometries among the available types in the gallery. After selecting the type, points can be edited further using the parameters section. You can create any type of pool geometry with this method. You can specify the point elevations using the delta Z section. Using the drop Z section, you can specify the relative positions of the points to each other on Z axis. You can define an arc shaped edge between any two points using the Sagitta field. If you want to reflect the arc shape to your foundation slab, enable the Use Shear Wall Geometry option in the Slab section. You can change the concrete and reinforcement material grades using the Properties section. You can specify the soil parameters in detail. You can define different soil types for each sidewall of the pool. Switch to the Soil Model page. You can choose the wall type as cantilever or basement wall. Set the options for passive earth pressure. Specify the loading type as long term or short term. Adjust the level of the water table in the soil. Specify the design spectral acceleration and seismic load reduction factors. Specify the soil layer thickness and slope. You can define concentrated or distributed surcharge loads at any distance and create reports for these. Wall stem and slab thickness will be automatically designed once you click the design button. We can make the rebars visible by increasing the transparency. Pool Macro can consider several design scenarios such as post-construction, operation, and maintenance. The post-construction scenario assumes that the pool is full of water however, the soil backfill has not been put in place yet. The operation mode assumes that the pool is full of water and the soil backfill is present. The maintenance mode assumes that the pool is empty and soil backfill is present. If you exclude any of these design scenarios by unchecking them, you will have to perform analysis and design again. You can fine-tune the rebar options for the wall and the foundation slab separately. The changes you have made are instantly reflected in the 3D view of the pool. You can preview the drawings in the detail drawing section. A comprehensive design report can be created. Let's click the OK button and pick a point on the screen where you want to place the detail drawings. The detail drawings are automatically generated with dynamic quantity takeoff and placed on the screen. We covered the pool design macro and proto details. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.